Hi everybody, it's Sarah. I'm finally back after a really long and really busy December. I finally got my December daily done. I just worked 11 and a half hours, so I might have some brain farts here and there about where everything came from. But you can always uh, just leave a comment at the bottom and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll leave links for as much as I possibly can too. So starting out, I got the 8x8 glittery gold albums. Yes, that's right, I did two. They're the Heidi Swap and Becky Higgins ones. I got them for about $8 each at Michael's. <clears throat> I also bought a lot of these acetate uh, 12 by 12s that I cut down to 8 by 8 because like I said, the album is 8 by 8. I hand punched stars in kind of a silvery gold and a gold and I embossed a few little wood stars and even did a few star sequins. This is my title page. It says December 2015, Merry and Bright. Those are both from Color Cast Designs. This is December 1st. We put up the tree a couple days before December 1st, so I thought, hey, I'll just use it. I have a lot of sequins in here, most of which are from Lucy's Cards. Her sequin mixes are available on her shop online, which is like lucyscards.com. It's a My Shopify one. Uh, she also has a limited number available on Simon Says Stamp. They are very amazing and full of all kinds of little fun bits and pieces. <clears throat> I got a close-up of some of the decorations from the tree and a bokeh, of course, because you have to get a bokeh or it's not a December daily, right? Um, here's my daughter enjoying a bowl of peppermint ice cream. There's a picture of our advent little house, kind of, with little drawers that pull out. And some days I stuck candy in there. Some days I put a little coupon for a scoop of ice cream like she's enjoying there. Here is my journaling. I've got a 4 by 4 journaling tag, or more like card. And that was from Felix by Seven Paper. And I've got a big doily on there. And... This is one of the bags that I picked up at a local scrap store. It's a craft one with gold hearts, and it's from Cosmo Cricut. I also got a vellum pack that are the same size with gold stars. And then there is the journaling for December 3rd. We went to go see the Nutcracker for the first time, because evidently we had to go do that twice. But anyhow, that was really fun. On the 4th, I took my uh, four-year-old to go see Santa at the Mall of America. My almost eight-year-old announced that she was too old to see Santa, so I said, okay. And let's see. <clears throat> this is a Google image of some punch that I served on December 5th. I worked a really long day that day at work, and I served like 400 glasses of punch that day and I was tired and the girls were with my mom and I didn't even take a picture so I borrowed a Google image of some punch for that day. Another sequin mix and I've got the Chamel numbers from her Christmas line and behind them are some of the beautiful sequins from Lucy's cards and I stuck a few of the stars in. They're hard to see but they're the thicker stars that match the December 2015 from Colorcast Designs. I'm going to use my typewriter to type out all the journaling. Another bokeh, this one was of my mother-in-law's tree. We didn't go down to see my husband's family until December 6th, so I just got a little bit of information about that. This was kind of an Allie Edwards-inspired little tag pocket, and I may or may not have some journaling on there. And this is another one of the vellum bags that I got from the scrap store. <clears throat> One of our many Lego decorations, my husband and my girls are both big Lego fans, so we had many, many, many Lego Christmas decorations up. There is a tassel from Maggie Holmes. Maybe Shine. Yeah, maybe. And here is like a bookmarker that I made with my sewing machine, and I stuck it full of a sequin mix from Lucy's Cards, and I added a bunch of my own gold stars. And then with these uh, Chamel numbers. I uh, stuck them onto the plastic with glossy accents and so far it seems to be working pretty good. Here is a picture of my little girl's tootsies in her brand new bed. At the ripe old age of four she was finally ready to move into a big girl bed so we went to Ikea really early one morning and got her 
her big girl bed and there's the pretty pretty sheets on her bed I also got a pack on clearance of Heidi swap numbers from Joanne so I was able to use my sewing machine to sew those on just to repeat the fact that yes this is December 8th this is a beautiful Mary I think it's foam it's like glitter foam that came in my citrus twist December daily kit here is December 9th we made cookies um, from Papa Murphy's I think that's a take-and-bake pizza place and they had a deal where you could get some cookie dough and bake some cookies at home I also got the 4x6 and the 3x4 yeah Felix uh, by 7 paper um, journaling cards and filler cards and stuff that was really fun these are Heidi Swap treat bags from Joanne that I did some hidden journaling right there my handwriting isn't the best so hiding it is always a good idea but you know my girls will want to see my handwriting in years to come I stuck one of those big pins those like hair pins or whatever those were that were from dear Lizzie I they must have come in a pack of four or six and they're beautiful but I'm having a heck of a time using them because they're so big here is December 10th I copied this idea from Allie Edwards. Oh, there's a tag that says chocolate chip cookies. That was a basic gray tag from Juniper Berry. This was Allie Edwards' idea. She did some three inch circles. I only had a two and a half inch punch and I made it work. That is from L Studio, I believe. <clears throat> and I also glossy accented most of this stuff on. And like I said, so far it seems to be working good. Another Maggie Holmes tassel. Here I made a giant shaker pocket. My girls got their pictures done at Target. We do that every year. And I just wanted to highlight two of my favorite poses. Once again, a sequin mix from Lucy's Cards. Here is December 11th and 12th. I finally got out to do some Christmas shopping. There's all the gorgeous stuff at Bath & Body Works. They had really pretty displays up this Christmas. The 13th, I went shopping just with my mom to get stuff for the girls, and we stopped and had lunch at Pizza Luce. It was really good pizza. A little more hidden journaling. Um, Allie Edwards did pockets like this, and I totally stole that idea from her. They were just gorgeous. <clears throat> and here we are on December 14th, another shaker pocket from Lucy's Cards. And this was me wrapping presents. Beautiful doily from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I will definitely be linking her shop. A big pack of 50 of these beautiful doilies for like $4. Such a good deal. And they are the nicest quality 4-inch doilies I've ever seen. And on the 15th, I evidently was still wrapping some packages. Okay, we're going to move on to book number two. As much as I didn't want to have to do two books... It was just too chunky. When I was looking for inspiration on Pinterest and stuff to do my December daily, I ran across the glue stick girl. And she did a December daily from 2011 that was so light and airy and ethereal and whimsical almost. And it, I, I did take a couple of ideas from her, especially with that doily that was half over the page and the kind of framelit of of sequins around the picture because her you guys should look that up on Pinterest it is um, absolutely amazing December daily I love how like airy and free and kind of fresh that it seemed last year I did my December daily and it was very regimented very straight lines and not a lot of whimsy and this year I really wanted to do a lot of something really whimsical here we are on the 16th. My husband and I and my youngest daughter went shopping at the Mall of America. I used another acetate piece. This was from Heidi Swap Shine. The nice thing about the 8x8 is that I got to cut a 12x12 down to 8x8 and then I still had um, strips on the side to use for inside the pockets. The 17th, my youngest daughter had her school Christmas pageant. Here is another journaling. I sewed the doily on, and once again, this is a 4x4 journaling card from Felix. On the 18th, my girls had their dance performance for Christmas. The 18th, we saw the Nutcracker again. 
This was some local girls. They were really good. And then I kind of wanted to repeat elements from the first volume into the second volume. So on the 19th, I made another one of these uh, like shaker pocket kind of bookmarks. Sewed it shut again with a couple passes through on my sewing machine. And I purposely did it very free and whimsical. Not only is it hard to sew on plastic, but you know, it also looks really cool, I think. Uh, the 19th, this was kind of another Allie Edwards thing. She, she sewed like or maybe glued three tags together and stuck them in, so I kind of wanted to do something like that too. Here's my journaling for the 19th. We made Christmas cookies. I was very intimidated by my husband's KitchenAid, but he was at work, so I had to just put my big girl pants on and figure out how to work it, and it worked amazing. I was so proud of myself. We made dozens and dozens of cookies. We made peanut butter crinkles and cutouts and mud balls and mocha crinkles and all sorts of really super fun cookies that day. It was a lot of fun. And this is some more of the, um, oh, I don't even know what they're called. They're from Color Cast Designs and they're like resin. They're resin pieces. There we go. And that is a Heidi Swap Joy that came in the pack of these gold numbers at, um, Joanne's. This, I think, is my favorite page of the whole album. This is a bokeh that I took of my own Christmas tree at night, and there's a little Noel up there, and uh, it is, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Luke 2, verses 13 and 14. I just wanted to get something in there about the actual meaning of Christmas, that it's not just presents and cookies and decorating and shopping. Uh, this is a big 6 by 8 of my daughter actually sticking my Christmas cards into the mailbox at the post office that day. Used a Maggie Holmes. This is like a really old, like, style board paper clip or something. That one was really old. Here is... Now, I work retail, so by the 22nd I was working super long days and I was coming home pooped, so we didn't do a whole lot in the evening but I did manage to snap a picture of some delicious lint peppermint and white chocolate truffles. Here's another mix of from Lucy's cards and I added a few of my own gold stars. Oh gosh, we're at 12 minutes, sorry guys. And here's a three by four cutout of a doily patterned acetate that I believe is from American Crafts. Here is a picture of the girls. They had their last practice for their Christmas program. Here I made my own page protector from an 85 by 11 Becky Higgins. I cut it down to like 75 by 85 And here's the girls at their Christmas program on the night of the 24th. Beautiful foam glitter uh, pieces from, uh, boy, I'm getting tired. Citrus Twist Christmas Kit. It was just gorgeous little pieces that came in there. And after that, we had most of my side of the family come over after we all went to church together to eat some of the delicious cookies that the girls and I had made just the Saturday before. Another dangly thingy from Maggie Holmes. And then here is, this was a little exclusive that came in the planner kit that I used to get called... I don't know, I can't remember it. I'll link it in the bottom. Here is a piece of vellum that was 8.5 by 11. I got it at Michael's and I cut it down to 8 by 8. Stuck another beautiful Spiegel Mom scraps. Just the detailing on these doilies is amazing. And here is Christmas Day. I got up early and made orange rolls and cinnamon rolls and quiche and cheesy potatoes and everything. And then I kind of gave the camera the day off because I wanted to focus on experiencing Christmas and not just documenting it so we just stuffed our bellies and kind of hung out and watched TV all day it was really nice especially after how busy uh, my husband and I had been at work for the last about two months and very not very late in the evening but about eight o'clock that night the girls went to their grandparents house a couple hours away um, to hang out there for like four days because they had been wanting to hang out with grandma and grandpa and we had been wanting to relax. So instead of relaxing, we worked and then we ended up going to the Mall of America because my husband wanted to check out the Lego stuff. And then the next day we worked some more and then I went shopping at the craft stores. 
I got picked up the uh, mink and some foil and all sorts of fun stuff. There's another mix from Lucy's Cards, and it's got, I added some little tiny, maybe half-inch snowflakes that came in a Heidi Swap sequin pack, also, I believe, from Joanne. Then, on the 28th, we went to uh, my brother-in-law's house, and he and his wife hosted us for Christmas. There's their dog, who is always so amazingly photogenic. She had some really neat old antique ornaments on her tree. I took some pictures of that. Here is a piece of... Oh gosh, I don't know. Berber? It almost looks like Berber, the back of Berber carpet. I don't know. And it's got like a chevron gold on there. I think that was from American Crafts. Here I did a picture of the table. We did kind of a buffet style with, oh boy, there was chicken and I don't even remember. Pulled pork and ribs and cookies and potatoes and crackers and cheese and hors d'oeuvres and all sorts of yummy stuff and there's my journaling for that I just like I said I type it out on my old antique typewriter and then I just cut it out and glue it on with some Tombow Multi and the girls met us there with grandma and grandpa for Christmas but then they still went back which is really weird going to Christmas to meet my kids there and then them leaving with grandma and grandpa and then we had still two more days to come home and relax so this is when I actually got some relaxing in coffee run with my mom and taking a bubble bath quick before the girls got home a little bit of relax time here is another one of those Heidi Swap treat bags and another one of those pins that were dear Lizzie here is the rest of that vellum and doily acetate piece I got the December die cut from Heidi Swap at Joann's on clearance and I cut that out in some gold glitter paper there's the Chanel thickers again and then this is New Year's Eve and all I did was I just hung out with my girls at home I actually went to bed by about nine o'clock and my husband stayed up with my four-year-old and my seven-year-old and rung in the new year and here was all I bought them party hats and noisemakers and like these twist things that all this confetti came popping out of and we were picking it out of the tree for a couple of days and I just did another one of those floating pages on the eight and a half by eleven that I cut down to I think it's seven and a half by eight and a half and then there's my little party girls and that's it guys thank you so much for listening to me blather on for 17 minutes. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. I've got a lot of fun stuff in store for the new year and a whole bunch of surprises and maybe even like a 200 subscriber giveaway. I think I definitely need to do that. So anyhow, thanks for listening to me blather on ladies. Have a good night. Bye.